Okay, we're getting this project done. Here's a look at what we're doing today. See that web over the cockpit? That's a template that Todd just built so that we can figure out our hard top, our bimini, and where it sits and where the legs need to go. Two years ago, we purchased a hurricane damaged boat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Together with our kids, we've been learning, laughing, and working to make this dream come true. This is the story of our adventures on a sailboat named Spoon Drifter. Are we ready to take it down? Almost. We gotta take some measurements first. Okay, and you need a winch handle? Yeah. Out of that cupboard. I think I can open it without breaking it. Mark where the winch handle is so we can build this appropriately because we need a foot right here. This will be the trickiest part to start with is getting this guy over the winch. Like okay, Tammy, get down in there. You grab those two, two right there. And this one. So if we can get it to where we can stand it up, kind of, and hold more of the top, it'll hang better. You know what I mean? Okay. And now let's get it over the edge. There we go. Like that. Okay. All right, Sam, you go downstairs. No, you go down and Okay. Get it. Then you're going to have to hang over the edge and hang it I down. I understand. I just okay. have to get down. You got it? This is put together with 8th inch masonite ripped into strips and hot glue. It's pretty delicate. You got it? Oh, I thought you were coming down. I thought Steve was coming down. Steve is our neighbor in the boatyard. He's refitted two boats since we've been in the yard. We really appreciate all his help. Careful, careful, careful! You're stuck. This is the same template process that we've used repeatedly inside the boat to recreate panels. It works pretty good. Whoop, whoop. All right, you'll be able to give us some rough ideas. So we gotta put that and make it fit over this. To do this, we need to trim the legs and cut off the front edge. We will be adding longer pieces in the middle to add to the length, then reattaching the front profile. It will be approximately 10 foot by 12 foot. It will be covered with a hard fiberglass top, which will hold our solar and catch water. All right, I'm gonna work on some, uh, oh, what am I gonna work on today? I'm gonna work on, I think, the uh, stainless, or not the stainless, the aluminum frame for the Bimini top that we have. So I'm going to grab a few tools. Okay, so let's take a look at this and see how it's going to work. <sighs> Fogged up glasses. Yeah, I'm trying to get uh, these welds prepped to remove all of the old uh, weld ring and uh, make sure that none of the weld flakes off so when you're all done it kind of looks like this and when we started they kind of look like this so they're all kind of rough but yeah I got to clean that off smooth that out make it a nice radius again so that the new piece can fit in there and be welded into place Getting this up here was no small feat, thanks to our boat neighbors, yay. Now that it's on the boat, we need to cut the legs to level it and ensure that it's tall enough for most people to stand under, but low enough to provide adequate clearance of the boom over the solar panels. We also need to position it where the legs don't interfere with the winches and you can climb in and out easily.
Okay, the bimini top has been cut to fit. Take a look. So today I'm going to attempt to make some pads for the bottom of these legs to be able to attach them to the top of this combing. We'll see how that works. Still pretty warm. Now to make one for the other side. You know, it occurred to me that many of you may look at some of this stuff and think it's pretty Mickey Mouse. Well, I just want you to know, it is. <laughs> Morning. We're here bright and early, hoping to take advantage of the slower breeze and the cooler temperatures before it gets really warm to get the pack welds on the bimini. Yeah, but first my job is to clean the foot that we're putting on the bottom of the legs. That's why we have it up here on the boat is to get that angle right. <clears throat> so apparently if I don't do this right, like things can be terrible. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Kind of scary. Let's do this. How do I tell if this is good enough? I think it's just you just kind of shine the shine the top layer up a little. I know, but they said like it could blow up if you do it wrong. Blow up. It's not gonna blow up. All right. The more contaminants are on there, the more it just splatters when you weld it, and it doesn't have doesn't have a good contact because the problem is it, is it takes like 2,000 degrees or something temperature to burn through the oxidized layer, whereas it might take 800 degrees to melt the aluminum. And you're just making those temperatures. And you're up. getting rid of that top oxidized layer so that you don't have to fight through the 2,000 degree spot to get to the 800 degree spot. Does that make sense? Are those real temperatures or no, are you making them I'm up? I'm making them up. Okay. <laughs> I know it's a big difference. It's like a huge difference. This one doesn't have any marks on it. Which side's up? Those are the front ones, it doesn't matter. Okay. We got that part done. Now it's up to Todd to figure it out. Well, I got it figured out. I'm getting there. <laughs> so apparently this welding requires a gas and when the wind blows, it blows the gas away, making it more difficult. That's why we've been watching for a less windy day. And today's less windy, but that doesn't mean no wind. That just doesn't happen here. Coming off the ocean, it just always blows. So, Todd is familiar with welding. He has done welding before, but it's been a long time. So, we shall see how this works. Right now, all I'm trying to do is tack weld the feet onto this, just a little bit, a couple little tacks to hold them in place. And then we're gonna take this bimini off, put it on the ground down below, 
um, I gotta I gotta know where to put the feet, and the only way to do that is to put them on in place and kind of tack them into place. Well, because they're at an angle. Yeah, because they're at all, they're at all kinds of angles, and so you know I have to know where to put them on the on the bottom of the foot. So, um, do you want to prep one of those, or do we want to prep one of these so that I can try it? Oh, well, we have to prep those. You have to parts prep this too. side too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it says to uh, put it on fast as speed. Well, maybe, maybe I'm not good enough yet. I need sight cuts. I don't have a freaking broken tip on it. There's some more wire for you. Is this stuff cheap? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. The problem is if you, if you slow it down, it just burns way too fast. It has to feed fast enough to do this. That's the problem with aluminum. Yeah. yeah. It's not as simple, obviously, as it seems. And part of the other problem is, is my, because I got the sun behind me, my helmet is turning off and on. Yeah, see? Yeah. It shouldn't be turning dark until you can act, until it's actually firing. <laughs> oh my word, that looks terrible. And is it actually tacked though? It is tacked. <laughs> so when we get it down below, we'll do some work to these cuz this is this is the learning curve of becoming a professional. You always start with stuff that looks like this. But I got to use my cool helmet. <laughs> this is what I deal with. Well, that didn't go quite as smoothly as we had hoped, but we got him tacked on there, and Todd can clean it up when he actually does the job on the ground, where he has more control over the wind and the temperature, and I don't know. Like, kind of a mess. Not great. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> uh, like I need some work. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, unflattered and embarrassed. How's that? Has this been an arc welder and some steel or an oxyacetylene and some steel? That would have been fine. New territory. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to show pictures? You're, you're going to show detailed pictures of my weld? <laughs> <laughs> all I got to do is hold it on good enough for me to get a good weld started. Then I can grind all that crap off and, and finish it the way it should be. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next Sunday.